Hi, I'm Dr. Zoya, a medical doctor and skin specialist, and I'm going to be talking to you today about lymphatic drainage for your puffy eyes. So there are lots of different words that fly around when talking about puffy eyes. So you can talk about under eye bags, you can talk about hollowness, dark circles, you can talk about fluid buildup. And when you're talking about fluid buildup, you'll hear a lot of things like Mela festoons, Mela edema, Mela mounds. So all these last three things that I've just said are kind of interchangeable, but have a look at these photos. So this is general puffiness of the eyes, but here in this photo, you can see what the under eye bags are and these form from a bit of skin laxity but also your fat herniating through and getting bigger as we get older and then just underneath it is where you get what we call this malar edema or festoons or mounds so how do you reduce the puffiness in these regions is what this video is about but it's important to understand a little bit about why these occur firstly so a lot of these things can happen because of mainly your genetics and aging, but also sun damage and smoking and other lifestyle and environmental factors. So then what happens is this skin in that area loses collagen and elastin, therefore it becomes weaker and then fluid can build up in that region, giving the appearance of puffy eyes. It's the lymphatic drainage of your face that actually removes that fluid from the face. So the excess puffiness that you have is drained away by the lymphatics of your face. So at the surface of your skin, you've got these lymphatic capillaries, and then you've got some that are slightly deeper and those surface ones drain into those in the dermis. And then you've got some collecting ducts in the actual superficial fat of your skin as well. So the reason I'm saying all that is because that just goes to show you how superficial the drainage actually is. And that's important when it comes to the actual technique and how much pressure you have to apply when you're doing the lymphatic drainage at home. Okay, so the first thing to do is get a cream of your own choice. There are a variety of different ones that you can use, but just use something that, you know, is not super comedogenic in any way. And you just quite like the feeling of it and it can be applied in the skin of the eye area. So get a small amount, pea size amount, and then use your two fingers. It's important to use two fingers for this massage. It's just more effective. And the first thing you're gonna do is just dab that cream on in all the locations that we're going to be massaging. So remember I told you that the lymphatic drainage is quite superficial in the skin, so you only need to apply very gentle pressure. So the pressure that you have when you're putting your cream on yourself in the morning. So nothing too harsh, it's not about firm pressure, it's quite gentle pressure. So the first thing you wanna do is open up the lymphatic drainage. So the lymphatics in your face all drain down the sides of your neck. Therefore, you wanna open up that lymphatic drainage in the neck. So what you do is, as you can see in this video here, you're gonna do one side at a time. If you do both, you're gonna suffocate yourself and pass out. So make sure you do one side at a time. And you wanna do this 10 times where you're going from the angle of your jaw all the way down your neck and then to the base of your collarbone in the middle. So you wanna do this 10 times on each side. Okay, step two, you wanna go from the middle of your cheek, as you can see here, and you wanna do some nice gentle pressure all the way across to your malar lymph node that you can see here and give it sort of a double circular dab and then go all the way to the front of your ear, another circular dab, down around your ear to the back of the ear, another circular dab and then just like you did when you were opening up the lymphatics, down the side of your neck and down towards the middle of your collarbone. Where you're stopping and doing these circular motions is where your nodes actually sit. So these are the collections, so you wanna make sure you're really getting that fluid through those nodes. Next, we're gonna go slightly higher where the tear trough itself is, so just the under eye region. You're gonna slide across to that malar lymph node here, double circle to the front of the ear, double circle, and then swoop it right back to behind your ear, double circle down your neck and to the front of your collarbone. And you wanna do this 10 times on each side as well. Step number four, you're gonna go again from the middle of your eye, but this time you're gonna go above. So you're gonna go above gentle pressure to the side of your eyebrow, all the way down again to that malar lymph node here, and then double circle to the front of your ear, double circle, behind your ear, double circle, down your neck and to the middle of your collarbone. Make sure you do one side first, then the other, 
You don't want to be doing both sides together on the neck, just to reiterate that. Also, do each step 10 times, and that way you're really going to flush all of that fluid and toxins out of the face. The last point is to make sure you have a lot of water after you've done this at home, just to help wash out any toxins. I hope you found that useful. If you have any further questions, then drop us a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.